This video is sponsored by Dell and NVIDIA Studio. I've been interested in AI and art for a while, so when Dell and NVIDIA invited me to take a closer look at some of the tools in NVIDIA Studio, I was intrigued. Specifically, I am checking out NVIDIA Canvas, an app that turns your sketches into photorealistic images. Hello, my name is Brad, I review type for Creative Professionals. So, AI, photos, can you really do this? Does this really work? Surprisingly, yeah. There are some limitations here, but this app works extremely well. It's very easy to use your mouse or a drawing tablet to draw on the canvas, and it just takes your little scratches and your little lines, and it transforms it into a beautiful photo. And the end result is something that looks very close to nature, but at the same time, it allows you to create things that just couldn't occur in nature, whether that's a rock floating in the sky or odd ways of forming hills that wouldn't actually happen in the real world, which is why I think this is so cool as a reference point for a lot of the art and illustration you wanna do. Now the software that I'm going to be using today is called NVIDIA Canvas. It is free, it's available through the NVIDIA Studio website. You can go download it now. There is a catch here though, it doesn't work on every single computer. Your computer needs to have an NVIDIA RTX graphics card in order for you to run this. The reason I haven't even tried out Canvas until today is because I haven't had a computer that could even run it until now. Thanks to today's sponsor, Dell and NVIDIA Studio. The computer you're going to see me working from today is the Dell XPS 15, and this thing is an absolute beast. Of course, you can go in and configure this thing inside and out. I'm personally digging the Arctic white, but if you like the Darth Vader look, they have a black exterior as well. The main feature though, the main feature is the graphics card. It's an NVIDIA RTX GeForce 3050. This isn't just a laptop, this is a laptop powered by NVIDIA Studio. Those of you who follow me on Twitter know that one of my New Year's resolutions is to learn 3D modeling. I have been using this to learn Blender and holy cow, it's rendering so much faster now. NVIDIA Studio accelerates over 70 of the most popular creative applications around today and Blender is one of those and it shows. There's an entire suite here of exclusive NVIDIA developed apps. These apps leverage the power of the RTX GPUs. And these apps showcase AI accelerated workforce like what we're gonna be using today with Canvas, but they also have some other apps like NVIDIA Omniverse and Broadcast. Check out the link in the description below to learn more. And thank you to Dell and NVIDIA Studio for sponsoring this video. Okay, so what we're taking a look at here is NVIDIA Canvas. Over here, along the left-hand side are all our tools. We have a paintbrush tool. Uh, we can adjust the size of that paintbrush. We have an eraser align tool paint bucket tool, just the basics you'd expect in any old drawing app. What makes this app different than any old drawing app is if you look in the middle, we have two things. We have our canvas itself, and on the right hand side is we have a render of what the photo is gonna look like as we draw out stuff on the right. And over on the right hand side, we have our materials. So we have sky, we have clouds, we have uh, hills. And just to show you how this works, I'm just gonna start drawing some hills, and it's not gonna be anything complex, but there you see, just by drawing something basic on the right hand side, what happens is it ends up rendering that. So as I choose different material like dirt, I can come in here and say, okay, this is going to be dirt over here. Whoops, I used the paint bucket again. So now I have dirty hills instead of grassy hills. Let's choose rocky hills so I can fill it in and now I have rocky hills. Actually, that is way cooler than what I thought I was gonna make. Let's go back to my paintbrush. Uh, I'm gonna grab some clouds here. Maybe I add some clouds to the sky just to make things look a little bit more interesting. And as you can see, I'm not drawing anything sophisticated over here on the left-hand side. I'm just adding color and it's trying to figure out what it would look like in a realistic photo. What else can we add? Uh, river, uh, sea, let's add some sea. So uh, I'm on the paintbrush and let's go ahead and we'll add some sea in here. Ooh, that's kind of cool, it added the river. Um, and there we added some sea. I liked it the way it looked before. I'm gonna undo that. Just by adding that line new to make it a river, even though there is a river icon here, let's make this river uh, flow down from the top into our other river. Oh, that's crazy. That's bigger than I expected, probably because my hills are steeper. What if I just set it down here? Yeah, that, that looks better. And let's make this this waterway wider. And now I can start to see the difference between river and sea, so. I want this to look more like a river now that I go, so I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna color over some of the sea that I've added there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that looks more rivery. And then of course I can add some things. Let's add some, is this grass? Grass, Let's. what happens if I just add a little grass in here? 
Yeah, my rocks get a little bit more interesting. In fact, with that one line, my hills changed a lot. I'm going to undo that. And that's another thing we could do. I'm going to go ahead and add a layer. This, this has layers. Um, and so if I draw just a little bit of green, it adds to the hill. I'll draw a little green along my river. I'll draw a lot of green over here. And since this is on its own layer, I can experiment with that. So once I get the basic structure and layout of what I'm looking for, if I decide, you know, that's too much green, I could always hide that layer and it's just gonna turn off that piece part. So that, those are the basics, that's how this works. Um, I wanna use this to create some concept art that would not exist in real life. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a brand new canvas. And we're gonna try, let's do sand. So let's just go ahead and draw in our desert. And I'm gonna fill that in. Look at that, that is a desert. And then uh, what are these? This is some stone. So what's cool here is I can go in and I could draw in some foreground elements. And if this works, yeah, it draws it in as a foreground element. That is cool. In fact, I could go nuts. I could draw a big old stone foreground element over here like that. That's a lot cooler than I expected it to be. I like that. That's looking good. The real thing I came in here to do is I want to draw an unnatural shape. So I'm going to start with a little line there and I'm going to draw the number two. Let's see what happens if I do this. That's a little close to the top, but I think it, it kind of gets the idea across. Let's do this, draw it like that. Maybe I erase some of this. Anyway, you get the idea. And then I can thicken out parts. Like this This is a rock formation that would never occur in real life, but I could thicken out parts of it. I could add you know, a little piece down there. Let's make that a little bigger. Take my paint bucket, fill these in, and then let me check this drawing. Yeah. So as you can see, this is a rock formation that would never occur in real life, but it's kind of cool to see how it would be rendered here and see how the lighting would work and see what AI thinks this would look like in real life. Uh, I'm going to erase pieces, parts of it, just to clean it up a little bit. There we go. Maybe add a little bit more to the bottom there. Overall, I'm liking this, but it's feeling kind of sandy and gray, and I want some more green. So let's see if I could add, I have grass, I have straw, I have bush. Let's add a little bush. Uh, what if there was something growing on the top of this? Is this even gonna work? Look at that, that works. So I got some vegetation up there. So there would probably also be a little bit, like anywhere the sun hits. Throw a little down there, yeah. And it'd be there, sure enough, and it'd be here too. Look at that. And I think the vegetation would come down kind of like this. Get some on the beach. Now maybe I'd grab some grass and maybe throw a little little spots of it here. Just get some stuff growing in. Maybe a little bit over here too. There we go. Now there are some parts along that like bottom part of the two that look kind of like Photoshop repeated stretched, they don't look organic. So something that I've been trying in this over the last few days that seems to work is I grab like a different kind of stone. Let me just grab the stone wall and then I could kind of come in where I see that occurring and I could add that in. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna add a different kind of texture. So it breaks up some of those patterns sometimes if I see those things repeating. It's just a little thing, I see a little bit here yeah, that broke up that pattern. Yeah, add a little bit there, rocky outcrop. What if I add some here? Nice, add it at the top there. Anyway, I could go on and on. But yeah, what I really like about this is that it can show me some of the things that are in my head before I get to drawing it. So I don't have to go out and find a random image off the internet and hope that the lighting matches up and all that fun stuff. But anyway, that is NVIDIA Canvas. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days.